What if your 12-year-old came home and said an adult had persuaded him to change his religion? Wouldn't you be furious? But suppose the adult sincerely felt that he was doing the best thing for your child. Would that matter? ABC's religion correspondent Peggy Waymeyer with a story of good intentions that some say went too far. Could this happen to your child? Look, for example, at what recently happened in this Texas town near Dallas involving this Southern Baptist Church and this 12-year-old Jewish boy. Are there a lot of Jewish kids in your class? In my grade, there's three other people. Out of how many? Out of about 500. You're really trying to convert them, aren't you? Exactly. Chad Self is the church pastor. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me, and, and we believe this is not just a truth, but it, that it is the truth. And if I believe this is the only way to know, to know God, to spend eternity with Him, then I also have a burden that other people know that, know that as well. Our whole purpose in asking someone to come into our church building is to accept, accept Jesus Christ. While they don't use the term target night at their church, these Baptist kids from Sunnyvale are also encouraged to reach out to their friends of any faith. When we invite people, our goal is to let them become a Christian, but we don't tell them that. If we would just be straight with them and say, why we want you to come to our church is to become a Christian, would they come? Probably not. Maybe they can hear one word that maybe this God that they talk about, that they love, maybe that's something I should believe in too. Did you ever think, wait a minute, I'm Jewish, I can't do this? Um, a little bit. And I told the guy that and he said, well, a lot of people are both. He told you you could be both Jewish and Christian? Yeah. So you don't see any conflict there between being a Jew and accepting Jesus as your Savior? No, not at all. When the Apostle Paul went into a new town to plant a new church, uh, he started in the synagogue. It wasn't till the next night that Zach's mom found out what had happened. He was standing in the middle of his room crying. Just kind of took my breath away that something could be that wrong, that he's like, I can't tell you, I can't tell you. Um, you'll be so disappointed. You were studying for your bar mitzvah. Yeah. You decided to put it off? Yeah, I didn't feel very Jewish. Do you have any problem with taking a Jewish kid and converting him to Christianity without their parents there? We, we didn't go to his school to share the gospel with him. Uh, he had come to our church, and our church has a mission that we don't try to hide. For us, this is a loving thing to do, expressing God's love to other people. In 1996, the Southern Baptist Convention passed a resolution to direct its energies to spreading the gospel to the Jewish people. Why do you want Jews to believe in Jesus? He is their Messiah. Is he the only way they can get to heaven? If he weren't the only way, what kind of a cruel God would have sent his only son to die on the cross? So you're really telling Jews if you want to spend eternity with God, you have to believe in Jesus as your Messiah. Yes. They don't like that. No. In the first place, I'm offended by it. Rabbi Eric Yaffe is head of Reform Judaism's Union of American Hebrew Congregations. Our view is that there are many paths to God. Yaffe and other Jewish leaders have called the Southern Baptist Resolution and Sibley's appointment outrageous and an insult to the Jewish people. 